Welcome back, guys, to another three v three. Today comes today's replay comes from yours truly. It is reforged. We are back at the at the uh, dry lake bed of Middle Earth, and I'm commanding the realm of Umbar today. And so we'll start with my army, of course. And we have two units here of Belaga archers. We have two units of Belaga pikemen. We've got two units of Belaga axe guard armored up. Just coming in for a closer look at these guys, if you can tell any difference. Not that I can see. Maybe it's the plated shoulder pads. Uh, check that out. I've got two units here of Corsair crossbows, one unit of Casimir's Rangers. I have some Naru and Naru Sentinels, some Corsair Blackguards, just the one unit, and some Harbages of Casimir. I've also got, uh, in this little canyon over here, sorry, some Adunium Lancers and Warlords of Umbar. And that brings us to my first ally, which is Isengard, commanded by Fedor. And he's got some Urukai infantry, some Wog skirmishers, some Dunedin clansmen. Maybe two units of them. We've got some Snaga skirmishers here that's a hidden at the moment. Some Urukai crossbows, two units. Some Urukai pikemen, I think, two units. We have an Isengard blister, Urukai infantry, more Wog skirmishers, trolls of the White Hand, Nazga high, Urukai berserkers. And I think that could be it. I'm not sure if he has champions of the white hand. I can't remember. I don't think so because I can't see them. Finally, we have Arthur Dane, commanded by Isaac Noobton. And he's got some Royal Court of House Amleth, some Knights of Numinus, Dunedain Scouts, two units here. That's the Archer unit on horseback. We've got some Dismounted Faunus Aaron Knights, a Numinus Gate Guards, Dismounted Faunus Aaron Knights. We've got Arthur Dane Pikeman here armoured up. Two units. We have two units, I believe, of Forest Aaron Defenders. Some Arthur Dane Marksmen, two units. And I think that's all I can see. It could be some Dune Rangers, but they're obviously hidden if they are here. And that brings us to uh, the first of our three opponents. Which is Dol Amroth, made by Inarius. And he has some Tanostian Spearmen. Some Belfast Marines. Some Ed Helen Men at Arms, not armored up. Some Dornell Pikemen. These guys are not armored up. Dornell Swordsmen. We have some Peritel Champions, Haven Guard, Ed Helen Men at Arms. Two units here, not armored up. We have some Mortonosian Spearmen, Haven Knights, Knights of the Silver Swan, Tear their Lancers, Peritel Riders, two units here. And I think that could be it for um, Bill Amroth. Can't see anything else at the moment. I think there are some some rangers. But we'll come back to them. Next we have Darwinian, commanded by Silver Banshee. And he's got some Evelyn Vineguard here. Some McQuindy Glade Lords. Nandor Glade Riders. Some Evelyn Vineguard. McQuindy Bows. And the rest of his army appears to be hidden at the moment. So I guess we'll come back to him. Finally, we have the person I'll be facing off against, which is Imladerus, commanded by Lord Imladerus. Who would have figured? He's got some Gwaithai Rochidor, some Brunin and Brunin River Wards, Imladerus Guardians, two units here, armoured up. Elder and we Swordmasters, two units, sorry, one unit here of Imladerus Sentries, more Brunin River Wards, Elder and we Spearmen, Norentina Warriors, Swords of Rivendell, three units. Archers of Rivendell, two units, and some more Norentina warriors. And that is it. So we'll get this battle started. Enjoy. So I'm cautious of Madaris's cav, but I am moving up my archers. Lord Madaris is starting to fire in. And the Madras is getting some nice hits there on my pikeman line. I don't know why it's taking my archer so long to move. I 
But I move my pikemen back a little bit, getting my archers out front. Now I saw an opportunity to target this archer unit because we have some Norentina warriors moving in as well, and I saw an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. I think I've got both my archer units firing over here at the same time. Try and maximize the casualties. Unfortunately, it looks like I just missed them. And I got my Quindy Glade Lords moving in on my flank. I'll slow it down just a little bit. We can go over here and check out what's happening. Dundine Scouts are here. Who are they firing at? Okay, they're targeting the Belfast Marines. Okay, do you scouts forming a circular firing line? We've got Dolemroth Cab moving in. i also got the General attacking me here from Dolwinian. I was trying to get my... I was trying to get a charge on the Nadaris' lines here, but he was too well defended and Dolwinian had arrived too, which... is not making things easy for me. I'm also firing on the land on the Pindy Glade Lords with my archers. Now I saw them converging and I tried to get my troops out of here. But uh, my warlords were caught out. So I decided to charge into them. I got my Adrenian Lancers moving in as well. And there's, the, and there's the doing in general. My general is not in this fight. But I thought this was very brave of the Winian to get his general in the thick of the action. But his troops are winning that fight, so I pull out my cav. I got my archers just pouring ammunition in here as best I can. And Pharaoh's sending over some troops as well. I wanted to get a nice charge, but they withdrew so I pulled back too. Anyway, it's back to shooting at the elves after this for a little while. Moving in over here. We've got Perihill Riders here. Isaac really wanting to get target the Belfast Marines. He's really determined to kill them. Probably be easier to go after one of the other units that are more densely packed. Now I half wanted um, Isengard to charge in with me, but he wanted to use his Isengard Ballista ammo first. Someone else, because uh, this was this. I did this during a live stream, and someone asked me why I didn't, why, why we weren't charging in, and that's was why. Pharaoh's moving up his walk scan. Let's go back to normal speed. Got Evelyn Vineguard here. We got walk scan. She's under fire here from the Peridal Riders. So this is what you do. And Pharaoh's got some wall skirmishes over here. 
just sort of stationing them nearby, I guess. And I was sort of playing a bit of cat and mouse here with Ladris. With a few mind games here and there. He was trying to move up his answer so he could shoot my infantry line. So whenever he did that, I just sent down my cab and it scared him off every time. It made it easy to get some kills. And then I saw an opportunity to target the elder enemy spearmen. Now I saw this in the corner of my eye and I messaged Pharaoh to get his skirmishes out of there because well he's about to be charged. I thought he was, he, he's microing he's microing elsewhere. Anyway, after I sent him that message he started to move his troops. Or well, at least he tried to, sorry. Walk finishes in a bit of trouble here. I think the unit's finished actually. Yep. Yeah, I was sort of keen to keep the cab away from me as, as long as possible. Looks like Anaris is being goaded out a little bit too. He's losing a few troops to those Doomdine Scouts. Isaac's withdrawing his army. Kind of goating him into... Trying, trying, trying to goat Anaris into chasing him. Oh, I forgot I did that. Yeah, um... Yeah, Darwinia was over here targeting Pharaoh, and so I charged in my cavalry to try and get him, and I managed to kill his general, which was good. I salvaged what's left of my warlords, and I just got all my archers just shooting all the cav over here as I come in. My warlords do all right here, but this is what I was concerned about: having cav in my back lines. So I'm sending a unit of piping back to, well, just to protect my rear. I got no and no sentinels back here as well. And the Lamroth is over here too. Just damaged them, but most of them got through unscathed for the most part. We've got Isengard moving up, as we can see. He's trying to target the Urukai infantry. We've got Mokwindi Glaylords here. And I'm trying to open fire. Here we go. Bit of a risk, I know, but targeting the Gwethai Rochel, you want to try and kill as many as you can. So yeah, just trying to just trying to beat back the cav here. Heading over here. You can see Arthur, you see Arthur and moving up. He's archers, so he's not really he's not ready to engage just yet. So we just head back over here, where I'm trying to get organised. I'm also trying to beat back the cav here of the enemy. Now Casimir's rangers are being shot at by the Parrot Hill Riders, which was a bit of a pest. The Glade Lords now broken, which is great.
So I'm basically going to try and move my crossbows and ranges away. I was going to charge in but decided the better of it. Just sort of holding here and just um, keeping an eye on the cab in the background. And that's all that's happening at the moment. Looks like a Nataris is moving. I've got nine Warlords left. My ranges are hiding, which is good. That means those pesky riders can't shoot them. Knights of the Silver Swan is now broken, which is good. We've got Trolls of the White Hand in pursuit of the Parrot Hill Riders, and also the Glade, Glade Riders. Okay, Manaris is charging in on my end. What have we got here? That's just the general's unit. Okay, Isaac is now charging in. So the attack sort of began it all at once, really. We've got McQuindy Stalkers here, a ton of riders here. I don't know who they're shooting. Oh, here we go. Targeting the, the Illuminous Gate Guards. Yeah, Isaac needs him under a lot of pressure here. We got Pharaoh nearby. The Winnie, for the most part, is holding back. And as you can see, Amadarus is charging in on my end. I'm moving up my... I've got my Corsair Blackguards, so I'm moving up my Rangers as well. i also got some supporting fire here from the Yokai Crossbows. So this is simply the crossbows, the Isengard crossbows are shooting in. Shooting right into the sides there. And as for me over here, trying to pour ammo in here and also protect my flanks. See Corsair Blackguards have that glitch where they fire one volley in and then they rise into battle and I pull them out once, did it again. When I saw they were in thick combat I just didn't want to pull them out again. So I didn't use all my ammo on the Corsair Blackguards. You've got Pharaoh really doing a nice job protecting my right flank here. we got Bruin and River Wards here as well. I saw them, but I wanted to get one good volley off. Like anything I do to get body pissing ammunition on this blob is, is worth it. See, that was my black guys doing their volley, and they start charging in again. So, while Emadaris is punching through, my forces here are holding him back. My sentinels here are keeping the Rochador at bay. Alright. Yeah, my crossbows did do me did do me proud here. As you can see, this battle's all over the place, and I've killed the Amadaris General, which is good. Isengard swamping Dorwinian right now. We got Nazgul High moving in. Rokai Pikemen. We got McQuindy Bows, McQuindy Stalkers, all shooting at Isengard's troops. Now Isaac's trying to deal with all this cav. Lord, we have lost half of our men. Looks like Isaac's really up against it here. 
His, his left flank has been destroyed. His right flank is doing much better. But this amount of Fornos there knights, which are needed on the front lines, but they're busy trying to deal with all this cav. We've got Med Helen Men at Arms here, Tier of the Alliances. And Umas Gate Guard's being harassed, so Dawinian's trying to double team Arthur Dane with the Lamoroth. And Isengard's trying to send help. Isengard's also helping me. The Winian has a nice firing line here on the Isengard troops. It is 50 to 49 here at the moment. But Isengard is overwhelming the Winian. We've got Snuggle Skirmishers here ready to throw in. Coming over here, we've got Trolls of the White Hand. We get some more Dawinian forces. We've got Bellic of the Axe Guard here, which unfortunately is broken. And I'm trying to move my crossbows around to get a better angle. And you've got Isengard sending in reinforcements. My harbingers of Casimir are doing me very proud here. We've got archers here which are out of ammunition, but I didn't realize they were out of ammunition for a little while. I've still got some rangers here, 43. So we'll just watch a quick volley or two. Oh, they're busy shooting the silly 19 warriors. My Bellicate Axe Guard here came back, which is good. Alright, looking back over here, I'll come back to that. We've got Snagger Skirmishes here, I, I think. They got their axes yet, but I don't think they've fired all their ammunition yet. Yeah, they're still firing. So now I'm just taking out the, the Nandor Glade Guard. Almost point blank, too. They're under fire. Snuggle Skimish is still eager though, warmed up. Trolls the right hand in the mix. Coming over here. Now Wanderers and Nimrod are here. That's the Winnie's Ranger unit. Looks like he's defeated Arthur Dane. He just sort of shot him to death and ran his, ran his men down with, with his cab, really. But it, it cost um, it cost Denarius quite a bit, actually. He lost almost all his cab. He doesn't have too much cab left. Or well, too much heavy heavy Lancer cab. He's still deadly at the moment, but he's lost a bit. And Isaac still has some troops remaining, which is impressive. So Isaac is not out of this yet. We've got more Quindy Stalkers here. Trolls of the White Hand trying to destroy Darwinian forces. Snuggle Skirmishes are here. Crossbows are here, but they're out of ammunition. I have some Warlords of Umbar here. And we won! And Madaris was defeated. Thanks in part to uh, Pharaoh's assistance. He provided some good crossbow fire there and and loaned me some men. So I was able to defeat in Lateris and still have a sizable army left over. But we're up against it. It's 77 to 67. So we're losing here. And right now I'm racing my army over here to try and help out Pharaoh and get ready for Anaris because we can see that he's incoming.
So I sent my warlords over to try and kill the, the enemy cav. Pharaoh's got some pikemen here. These are Isaac's cav. I'm sending my own cab to try and help him. Not the best charge from me either. I got my Corsair crossbows trying to target the enemy cav. Now Pharaoh's going in. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to catch up. The crossbows are moving in. Now I'm firing into this mouth blob here. And a couple of friendly fire hits. Isaac's charging in his cav. So we're all still here. Only half the enemy force remains. But McQuindy Stalker's You're moving in. The enemy is dead. And my warlord managed to kill an RS's general. Got my belly of pocket moving in. Just trying to see where my crossbows are shooting at. Now I'm trying to shoot at this blob here of enemy troops. Okay, I think that was the. Yeah, that was Isengard's general. So, enemy cab was always a big issue here. Yeah? It's 87 to 79. My belly archer just broke. Burning clansman broke. You got enemy cab trying to disrupt my archers. I've got Harbinger's Cast moving in to support them, drive them back. Here we go. Enemy forces moving in. That air fire is coming from enemy cav at the moment. 91 to 84. I'm shooting at the Doranil pikeman. I think I switched soon. Basically, I'm trying to shoot at anything, really. There's Isaac's general. He's in the thick of the fighting. If 
Okay. Trying to kill the riders. I'm moving in my ranges around to try and get a better angle. It's 93 to 88. There's some Bellica Axe Guard here. Which I realize I still had. I'm using my ranges to take out the more Quindy bows. And we have some Norentina Warriors here. And I sent my Bellica Axe Guard to get into their ranks. Pharaoh's got some Urukai Piking that we've reformed. So right now. Isaac and I have surrounded the Haven Guard. We've got Ed Helm in arms here, drawing out pikemen over there, and Wanderers of the Nimrodal. I think I'm targeting the Wanderers of Nimrodal right now. Pelican Marines still have ammunition. And my Bellica the Axe is keeping the Nomentino Warriors busy at the moment. And 16. We've almost killed the Haven Guard here. 94 to 90. So we're closing the gap. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. I beat him in the butt a little bit. So I'm running my. I got some Nari Nari Sentinels left over and Harbages of Casimir. And some Rangers. But that's relatively it. And my hubby's just casting me out, are cutting through the drawn animal, sorry, the Ed Helm men at arms. And I keep charging through because I don't want to get I don't want to get a volley in the face of those built by those Belfast Marines. So I'm, I'm running my harbingers forward. Fortunately his attention is focused on the uh, pike. And I just broke those marines, so I'm very happy with that. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. That's what we want to see. It's definitely swung our way. It's 95 to 93 at the moment. Remember, Isaac and I still have our general. Now moving over to support him. Pharaoh is too. Alright, so we're time six in now. Yeah? That's pretty much it. So that was one of my best battles ever. Never been down by so much before and come back to win it. Just at the end. So, you know, a lot of credit goes. Probably MVP, I'd say, is Pharaoh, who supported both me and Isaac during that battle. He really helped me out. Let me some let me his crossbows and some men that really helped turn the tide against the Naderus, who was a very strong army. Tough to beat. Um, thanks to his help, I was managed to keep a lot of my men alive there at the end, and they were all valuable. They all did their part. Um, Isaac had a tough go of things against Inarius. Inarius had a lot of cav, a lot of archer cav, a lot of heavy lancer cav. That would have been a big headache for Isaac to deal with. But he still had men at the end there, so he still managed to hold his own. And um, yeah, Pharaoh pretty much supported both of us and got us over the line. So that's why I think Pharaoh's MVP. 
Uh, Anarius, Silvancy, and Lomaris all fought well. It's just a bit unlucky that it swung against them at the end there, but I'm happy that it did because I was in this battle. <laughs> but um, yeah, they were all tough opponents, all worked well together. Um, I thought the Darwinian advantage that um, when Darwinian was sending over his cav to help him ladder us out, I thought I was really going to struggle there, but Pharaoh came to sort of help me out of a tight jam, which was good. And yeah, that was a great battle. It had everything, a lot of to and froing there, and we wrested victory from the jaws of defeat, which was great. Looking at the kill count, Harbingers of Casimir 129, Casimir's Rangers 108, Warlords of Umbar 115, Corsair Crossbows 112 and 79, and Belliger Archers 112. The rest of my units didn't do too well. Belliger Pike and I got 8 kills each. That's pretty bad, actually. But um, they also did damage, and they also did enough to help me to win, so I can't complain too much. But Bambalaga Park and yeah, didn't perform very well across the board, really. I do need lances, I also didn't use effectively, nor did I use my warlords. They got 115 kills, but I still don't think I'll use them that well. And Naru and our Sentinels, 43, but um, again, I think they damaged a lot of enemy units instead of getting the kills. So they did average. A lot of my units did, did poor to average. Uh, with a few did, with a few doing very good. Thank you to all that participated in that battle. It was a lot of fun. This is Scatter Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys next time. Bye.